Good morning, Namibia and the rest of the world. Thank you so much for joining us. We are live from Delta Primary School here in the Vinduk City. And of course, you know, it is the first day of school. Very exciting and quite anxious to quite anxious too at the same time to a lot of learners especially the first time graders and we're just here to actually observe and share with you this very special moment to the future generation or as you can see right there here this is the queue of a lot of parents that are here to pay in order to assure quality education and um, yeah the young ones are here pretty much quite excited and we just want to share with you guys uh, pardon me the light is quite a little bit bad. Um, it's of course it's an indoor, but we'll try our best. Let's try to enter and see what is happening on this side. Coffee is prepared for the young ones. <laughs> this is Delta Primary School in Windu. So this is the school hall. Um, seated here a few parents and they are little ones. We're just waiting for the chairperson. I think she was supposed to be here to talk to us. We don't really know what is going to happen here, but of course, uh, I was made to understand this is the school hall. There's a function that is starting at eight. It's actually really a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing to see the young ones excited to begin their education career. So you can see this young man here. You're probably just wondering what's going on. Meeting a lot of people for the first time, a huge crowd. Let's see if we, this one here too. So let's speak to the chairperson. I told you they're about to go in a meeting and maybe she can just chat with what's happening here, what's going to be the function all about. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, followers and listeners. Thank you very much uh, and welcome to Delta Primary School. We are here today receiving the grade ones and the grade zeros for their first time at school and we are very excited to introduce them to the Delta family. And uh, to all the children coming back to school, we are also excited for them and the parents. So all that we are really asking the parents to do is to invest in the education of their children and take time and be with their children, help them with their homework, um, hold them and take care of them because at the end of the day, your children um, are the ones that are the future leaders of our of our nation and we need to take good care of them so please parents join hands with the schools join hands with the teachers join hands with school management with government government can only do so much and free education unfortunately i really i would want to say it on air but free education is not possible at delta primary school because we can only do so much and we need to take care of the school we need to maintain the school there's a lot that we need to take care of so please parents join hands with the school and help us support us and play your part thank you what's happening here why is everybody seated here in the hall so in the hall what's happening today is we are welcoming the grade ones and the grade uh, pre-primary school these are the first timers at the delta school and um, so basically we are just welcoming the parents and the children taking them to their classes and introducing them to the school and giving them a small little tour of the school. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you very much. Please edit it where you can. Oh. Right, thank you so much. You heard it loud and clear from the chairperson. We are here at Delta Primary School here in the Vendruk City. And of course, as you can see, there's quite a lot of people here in the school hall. This is the welcoming 
uh, ceremony for the first time graders. And these are all the grade ones, grade zero, that are going to be given an induction. Terry came to um, introduce to the education system, possibly since this is their first, first ever step. And uh, yeah, look how beautiful they look. Right. By the way, uh, so we'll still hang around for a little while, and then we'll see what we can do, who we can talk to, and possibly um, what more information we can gather for you that is quite really crucial to this historical moment. Mind you, this is not a chosen school that we are actually just uh, attending random schools, and this one was the, one of the closest schools that I could spot in the time that I had when I was driving around in the morning, and of course... Um, it was quite also a little bit difficult for me to go to school that are a little bit far away because of, um, um, you know, yeah, it's traffic on the road. There were so many cars and I needed to get there on time too as well. So, yeah, uh, we will see what other schools we can possibly find during the course of the day. And then also we see how beautiful it is to have those little ones those future champions, the future custodians of the country, how they will be coming to school. Look at this one, pulling her beautiful bag. Probably just wondering why there's so many people here. Once more time again, thank you so much for joining us. For those that are only joining us, now I can see there's quite a lot of people that keep joining in. You guys are the reason why we exist. We're glad to share with you this very special moment of the young ones. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Please talk to us. Yes. yes, I would love to, to you to talk to us. No problem at all. We are live. Good. If there is a, a nearly a million people that are watching it from all over the world. I know that. You just walk us through about what is happening here, your excitement, um, okay. the anxiety, if there is any, to have these little ones um, starting off their very first step in the education journey. And uh, yes, yeah, okay. I know there's a. Uh, Quite a lot of people uh, just watching right now. Let perhaps we just turn the camera and show your beautiful face to them. Okay, <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Uh, Hold the camera for me. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. So, good. Uh, uh, um, yeah. We here now at Delta Primary School in the Vinduk City. Uh, we saw the beautiful scenery. Young ones coming here, being dropped off by their parents. Uh, looking a little bit excited and yet confused. They probably don't know what's happening. They have never met a huge crowd of this before. How was it 
ever since in the morning. Yeah. Good, good morning, everybody. Good, mor uh, good morning, Namibian nations. Happy New Year and all the best. Especially, I would like to say uh, everything best for your uh, children, which they are coming to Delta School. I just like to first introduce myself. I, my name is Mrs. Boskovic. At Delta, call me Mrs. B because uh, it is. Uh, I'm very uh, B for the best or busy B. Okay, I'm here have a daycare after school. That means uh, we looking after the children, we helping with the homework, and we do all the work that uh, a child need. Of course, this is very uh, big excitement for the small children. I just would like to say to the parents two words. Please help us, uh, work with us, and also put your children at a daycare because uh, homework is done and everything is there. That is very, very important first steps for the grade uh, zero, it means pre-primary, and for grade one, they have that routine. Please just be with your children, help how much we can, and we have in, at, at Delta a very, very best teachers, and in here it is really hard work. Bye-bye, nation of the Namibia. Thank you. Thank you, parents. Thank you very much. You heard it loud and clear. These are the people that are taking care of your children after hours. And of course, let's, let's speak to one more of the professionals here. <laughs> Good morning. Please hold the mic. Good morning. Good morning. Um, very fine. Very fine. It's the first day of school in the 2023 academic year. I'm sure you have a lot of uh, things to tell to us. Uh, whether it be one of the excitement or the anxieties about welcoming the young ones at school, those that are returning in the first time, please take us through. Um, yes, today is uh, marks actually a very important day in the lives of our pre-primary learn uh, pre learners and uh, the great ones for the first time. You know, it's the place where parents had to stop, take a decision, where am I going to take my child? Um, which school, what, what, um, what they need, what, what are the inputs and so on. And it's a new phase. They crossed over and we are very happy to welcome the learners at Delta School when took this morning. Uh, this school is, is in a very high demand and it makes it for us very proud to welcome these parents here this morning. It was not easy to do these placements. It's always a challenge at our school, and I believe other schools as well, but Delta School really suffers a lot um, to make these placements. So we need to be very, very consistent in our decisions and so on. And for the rest of the school, our grade four, um, two to seven learners, we are very happy to welcome them back. Uh, when I look back at last year and uh, the challenges we had with uh, academic performance and so on, uh, we did really, really very well. My team of teachers, we supported each other. We did a great, a great job. When I sat at the moderation last year and I realized we also had failures, but in comparison to, to the rest of Ventuk schools and so on, I'm very proud of us here at Delta. We are striving, always trying to maintain a high standard and we are very working also very hard to maintain this. This is a very important part for us to have a high standard at our school. I'll let you go. You mentioned quite very important aspects in terms of the uh, uh, standard of, of, uh, of, of education. And uh, looking back in the history, not history, but the record of last year's academic performance in terms of um, maybe senior education wasn't really the greatest and the president has termed this year as a year of revival. What is your take on that? Uh, now for me um, it is about education. Education is a triangle. It consists of a parent, the school and the child and all three entities must work together. So when we pick up at school that there is a learning uh, concern, uh, we take it up with the parents, we recommend certain things that is outside the borders of the school, um, programs that they can follow. And parents, many parents do buy into what we suggest. 
and that definitely contributes towards our success. If you look in terms of the number of the numbers of learners in a classroom these days, uh, we have also to to escalate our numbers to 38 per classroom. Uh, the school was built for 350. We accommodate 808 learners this year. So, uh, taking that into consideration, we have to outsource and ask and recommend. And the parents are willing to do that. And I think definitely this is one thing that, that contributes to the success. And then, of course, uh, the, from the teacher side, the preparation must be in place. Uh, and the continuous assessment must be in place. And we really strive to do these things as it is expected of us. So much. I wish I had the whole day with you because there is a lot that we're learning from you. But maybe lastly, what else would you love to share with a fellow um, education gatekeepers? Maybe because we all know that Delta Primary School is one of the greatest. Um, colleagues out there, you you must remember to uh, to smile. You have to smile every day. If you don't put a smile on your face then you are actually distributing energy that is not positive. So we have to, to stay calm in this whole scenario. It's not a nice scenario that we experience at this point in time of the education uh, due to COVID and a lot of other things that contributed towards it. But we have to stay calm and we have to focus. We have to take it day by day. And um, remember that if you distribute positive energy, that is the energy that is going to out, uh, outsource to the learner, to the parent, and to the rest of the school and the community. I thank you. Thank you so much. There you have it, guys. That was really beautiful. Uh, people are about to start their program, so we're going to have to excuse ourselves. And thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. This is Informante streaming live from Delta Primary School here in Venduk. Uh, let's see if we can speak to one of the parents. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, ma'am. How are you doing? Let's 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 move a little bit this side. Uh, it looks like they're about to start with a program. So you're one of the parents. You brought your little ones here. How is it this morning? Um, the morning is fine. Um, the morning is fine, and we just like to welcome all the Delta parents for the new academic year, which is 2023. So we sing forward to a wonderful year with Delta School as a Delta family. Did you bring a, a, a returning student or is it a first timer? A returning student, a grade three student. It's been a long holiday. You know, the little ones, they adapt so quick. And in a holiday, they were relaxed, waking up whatever time they want. And I'm sure waking them up early in the morning this time was a little bit of a challenge. Mm -hmm. Tell us, how was that a little bit of experience <laughs> trying to twist their mind back to get ready? It was really a challenging, so from over the weekend, I mentally had to prepare him because Wednesday is back to school, so it was quite a challenging for this morning as well because we had to get her back to the old routine again. What about children and safety? Is there anything that you would like to share with parents, especially picking up and dropping the kids off school? Regarding the safety of our little ones, parents should ensure to pick up their kids on time. But the good thing of our Delta school family is the kids are kept safely in the school premises up until the parents come to pick them up. So the parents should just ensure to come pick up the kids on time and in the school premises. Thank you so much, Remember that you have it. Please have a wonderful day, and thank you so much for talking to us. This is Informante once more time again. Guys, as you can see, we told you we're here by Delta Primary School here in the Venue City. Right here is a queue of parents that are here to pay. They're making their payments actually to make sure that they have their, child, uh, their, 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 their children really um, fully registered in order to assure quality education. So these are the learners. Let me see if I can speak to one of them. Hey, can I talk to you? Good morning. Hold the mic for me. How are you? Wait, you talk to me about why are you so excited to be here? Um, the teachers are very friendly and um, you feel welcomed here and their education is very good and you get taught a lot and everyone is welcoming and um, we, uh, everyone 
cares about you and if you've got problems they all look after you and um, all the teachers have always been there for everyone they always look they've always be uh, always taken care of you as their own children and they've never um, they've always seemed like they were uh, like rude to us but they've always just to train us so they're to, always there for you guys. yes and I see you are a prefect what role do you play um, so it depends on what you do so some uh, so for today is the first day of uh, for the new kids so the prefects have to show them around uh, uh, for the school and for what uh, what the way the library is and the office and the gates and the where the toilets are and then we also have the flag duties back there and then we also uh, every morning and after break we have to show the children we have to take the children to their class um, and then we have to um, where the teachers have to go printing and um, uh, do go to meetings with the principal or other teachers then they call us prefects to look after their class while the teachers are away that the kids do their work and behave and um, we in the hall assemblies we have to stand with the children and make sure that they don't talk during the assembly thank you so much you're so welcome these, so time graders these are for a they, they've been added to the school all right Maybe I can talk to one of them. Who, are, who, who wants to okay. talk? Ah, you can talk. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Sir. What's your name? What grade are you? And uh, why are you excited to be here today? Caleb Swartz. My name is Caleb Swartz. I'm in grade 4A. And the school is really excited and I want to meet new friends. Uniform is neat. You look clean, well tucked in. Your shoes are well polished. Did you do this for yourself or your parents? Me, myself, and to show that I'm neat and tidy. And when you grow up? I'm a football player, soccer player. You want to be? A soccer player. You want to be a soccer Oh, wow. Thank you so much. You heard it. This one right here wants to be a soccer player. You want to talk to us? Come on. You don't want to talk to us? You got scared? Okay, I think there's another proof. Can I talk to you on behalf of the ladies? Please. Good morning. As a prefect, you are here to assist the young ones, I believe. Yes. Tell me, how is the experience? I mean, since in the morning, as you guys were at the assembly, you know, how was it like? Okay, it is really good, and we just have to assist. I mean, it's just the start of 2023, and we didn't really experience being a prefect. But last year, we got taught what to do, and so far, it's really good. Yeah, just really good so far. Say you're excited for the year 2023 and you're ready for everything that might come, all the good and bad? Yes. All the good and bad. Yeah. Any message to share with your fellow learners? Hello. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining us. And thank you so much once more time again for tuning in. For those that are only tuning in right now, this is Informante. Streaming live from Delta Primary School here in the Venue City. And, of course, we told you that we are just uh, doing a little tour to different schools. And I believe from here we'll be running around again to see if we can find another closed school that we can actually interact with a few learners and teachers at the same time. One more time again, my name is Samuel. Thank you so much, everybody. And we'll meet again. Hello, Prefect. Hello. Is there any one of you want to talk to my people? I've got nearly a million people that are watching all oh, you guys. You guys look so smart, clean, and I like, I like how you guys are well dressed up. You look well mannered. What grade are you guys in? Seven. seven. Grade seven. Yes. So are you excited for the year 2023? Yes, we are. Yeah. And you guys all passed last year?
with flying colors. Yes, because we had to use those reports to um, sign up, apply to high schools. I wish you guys all the best. Thank you. 